All you backyard astronomers and stargazers out there better listen up because if you set your alarm clock early enough over the next week, you are in for a huge treat. Six planets have aligned, and get this, if you time it right and the sky is clear and, you know, the moon turns blue, no, I'm kidding, you can see the spectacle, spectacle just by looking up. The host of CBC Radio's Quirks and Quarks, Bob McDonald, is here with more. I find this a little hard to believe that you can just look up and see these six planets all well, aligned, but it, how does it ha come, why is it happening? Come on, they're always there, you know? They're, you just know where to, need to know where to look. Right. What's unusual is that they've grouped together in, in what's called a conjunction, so you can see Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter all clustered together. And if you have a little telescope and uh, or you know where to look, you can see Uranus and Neptune as well, all in the same sky, all in a line. Uranus and Neptune are neat because uh, if you see them, they're green. Okay, so you, come in different a, colors. you said you, need, you can't see that with the naked eye, though, The two right? you need a telescope right. for, the other four you can see just by looking. Just okay. where the sun's going to come up, just look towards the east. You can't miss them. They're, okay, they're right there. which planet is the yo-yo that you okay, brought Okay, so in? let's, uh, <laughs> here's, here's the way it works. The yo-yo is the sun, and uh, I've got some other balls here that are the planets. Planets are like speed skaters going around the sun, okay? So right. Mercury and Venus are really close to the sun. They don't take very long to go around. They only take months to go around. We are a little further out. We take one year to go around, so we're a little slower. And then you get out with Jupiter and the outer planets, they take many years. Jupiter takes 12 years just around the sun once. Wow. Okay. So the inside planets mm -hmm. are going faster. So every now and then you're going to have an inside planet catch up to an outer one. Right. And it'll pass. So you, it's not unusual to get clusters of planets on the same side of the sun. So it's just unusual that right now we have all six planets at once. And so from our point of view, we look out and we can see them all together. Okay, you and, said it doesn't happen often, but how often? Like, how rare is this? Well, you get some kind of conjunction every year with maybe two planets, but right. uh, to get six, not very often. That'll, that's maybe, you know, uh, once a century or even less than that. So okay. it's neat to see them all. And Here's this is how they'll look. So all you need to do is just look towards the east where the sun is brightening when the sky goes to that pre-dawn indigo color. Yeah. You're staggering home from a party. Uh, just <laughs> you know look me to too well. <laughs> and they'll be there with the naked eye. What's also neat is that they're in a line. And that line that you see is actually our, the plane of our solar system. We all go around the sun on the, on the same plane, and you can actually see that with their lineup. But this is what it is. Now, it doesn't mean that the Earth is going to end. A lot of the astrologers... I wasn't even thinking that. Well, astrologers sometimes point to uh, these events as significant. Right. And uh, conspiracy theorists, of course, like to think that this is going to be the end of the world, especially 2012 coming up. You know, that's going to yeah, be yeah, bad. Yeah, I know that. But this has actually been going on ever since the solar system has been around. And so far, nothing really horrible has happened. So from an astronomical point of view, it's nothing sig um, significant, okay, but really. but here's what I need to know. Okay. okay if I'm looking east, yeah. <clears throat> I'm doing that coming home from a party thing. What am I actually going to see? You're going like, to see four diamonds in the sky. Four, okay. Four diamonds. Okay. And Mercury is a really hard one to see. That's, I've only seen Mercury twice in my life. Mercury is so close to the sun, it very you're seldom old. shows. I'm an old part. <laughs> no. And uh, so Mercury will be there right beside you. But you can't miss them. Just look to these. You'll go, okay. what are those four bright stars? They're actually planets. Okay. And you'll see them there. And it, the one that's missing, Saturn, you can see it before you go to bed. Around 9 o'clock at night, it's almost straight overhead. So it's a real planetary feast. If you do have a telescope and you look at them, they're all different. Mercury looks kind of red. Venus is a crescent. Jupiter has four little moons going around it. Saturn, or Saturn's not there, but Mars is red as well. Right. So you got, they come in different colors, uh, different shapes. They're all kind of... And if you look for Uranus and the other one, what green. was the other one? Uh, Neptune. Neptune. They yeah. will look green look on green. your telescope. In the telescope. That's right. So what the heck? You know, it's a nice, nice night as you're coming home. Absolutely. Neat planetary alignment. Sounds great. Hot chocolate or... <laughs> Yeah. Whatever. No Thank reason you. to party. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. That's okay, Bob so McDonald, it. host of CBC Radio's Quirks and Quarks. You can hear that show every Saturday right after the news at noon on CBC Radio 1. Thank you, Bob.